Oh, hello there, plumber. Take your dirty, probably got shit on them boots off. Thanks. All right, let's get started. Accidentally forgetting the number one rule for plumbers, don't bite your fingernails. Moving random things from toilets like shoes, phones, toys, tampons, baby wipes, adult toys, a beer bottle. Did they drop that in or did that drop out of their... 25,000 plungers. Saying you make beautiful bespoke bathrooms, but what you actually do is fix taps and unclog toilets. Dealing with poop, smelling of poop, people assuming you're a millionaire, not being a millionaire, some copper pipe, some PVC pipe, hex pipe, red glue, blue glue, clear glue, a quarter inch nipple, discharge tube, female to male fitting, a male to female fitting, a male to male fitting, a female to female fitting, some flashing, a cock, a blow bag, a flange, an elbow, a wrench, a horny client wanting some extra pipes cleaned, a four year trade course to learn about gravity, getting a toilet from the wholesaler, installing said toilet, needing to go to the toilet and shit in that toilet, unclogging toilet, smelling of toilet, changing clothes in the middle of the day because you smell like toilet, money, 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 the phrase, no I can't get your goldfish back, an exorbitant call out fee, people asking why you charge a call out fee, telling people I literally deal with your shit. A belt, <laughs> nah. Deodorant, <sighs> what's the point? Gloves, <sighs> nah. 700 cashies, paying tax on your cashie, oh nah. Overcharging for small jobs because you don't want to do small jobs. Getting called out on Saturdays, Sundays, public holidays, Easter, Christmas, New Year's. Getting called out at 4.30 on a Friday to fix a leaking tap that's been leaking all week. Corn, corn, corn. Corn, a hatred of corn, still wondering why there's always corn, a polite smile when a customer makes a poo joke to you, and then thinking, this is exactly why I charge the call out fee. Digging deep trenches that are in straight lines. Watching electricians dig trenches wherever they want because they've got flexible cables. A high to extreme hatred of electricians. Dirty boots covered in mud, or is that shit? Definitely shit. Encounters with pubic hair, putting on an apprentice to clean up, putting on a second apprentice to offload some of the dealings with shit. Hearing the phrase, oh, I could have done it myself, I just didn't have the time. <laughs> Forgetting to crimp a socket and flooding the joint. The phrase, wear number one with your number twos. The ability to handle poop all day. The inability to tolerate vomit at all. A takeaway lunch you eat with your hands. After you finish your lunch, wondering if it's meat pie or poop on your hands. Being asked by a client if you can do it cheaper for cash, but also wanting a receipt. <laughs> a crack in a pipe. Being able to see your crack. A crack pipe. Interesting. Getting priming fluid in a fresh cut on your hand. Every time you pass a building that you've worked on, you say, Hey, I did a job over there. <laughs> and finally, when you're out on the town, realising that if you tell girls that you're a plumber, they won't be interested in you. So you tell them, you're an electrician. Okay, see you, plumber. No, I'm not paying your call-out fee. Said you'd be here yesterday. Next. Gen what? Gen X. Oh, it's still a boomer, not a boomer. A millennial? Not a millennial. In between. Oh, there was one in between, was there? Right, Gen X. Okay. Oh, we'll all learn something, won't we?